Well, welcome to another edition of Weathering the Storms of Life with the Rainses. Rob Rain, Sally Tippett Rains on stlsportspage.com, as well as putting us up on rainbowsforkids.org, our charity that we support and have for a long time here at uh, stlsportspage.com. We started another week of uh, being quarantined, staying at home, but uh, hopefully these uh, little quiz programs that we've been doing now for a couple of weeks have given you at least a few minutes of uh, something to enjoy and take your mind off everything that's going on in the world and around St. Louis. Yes, we just thought it would be fun to just get together with you every day, Monday through Friday, with some little quizzes just to keep your minds going, keep give you something to do. And we all know that we spent a lot of time uh, watching movies, so we're going to get to a, some Disney trivia today, courtesy of our friend Liz Crumb, but your word of the day. First. My wisdom of the day. Don't compare your struggles to anyone else's. Don't get discouraged by the success of others. Make your own path and never give up. I was looking that way because I'm reading that sign off my wall that I keep right next to my desk. And I think that's really important. You know, even during this time, if you're not quarantined with somebody and you see other people that are quarantined with their loved ones or whatever your situation is, even when we get out of this, don't compare yourself to other people's. Mm -hmm. You just do the best with what you have and forge your own path. Sure. Good advice. Even when you're not in uh, troubled times, right. you should do that. All right, so on to today's trivia questions. As we mentioned, it's going to be some questions about Disney movies contributed by our friend Liz Crum. So without further ado. We'll... Yeah, we appreciate you, Liz. I, I'm sure Dan had something to do with it, maybe Daniel too. So let's get to the Disney questions. Anybody's got an idea for some topics for some future quizzes, be sure to shoot us an email, stlsportspage at gmail.com, or else just with an idea, or if you actually have the questions done, that's great. We'll take those too. So that's how we're doing this. So get out a pen and paper, write out your answers, or just play along with us and, and remember them. We're going to go through all the questions and then uh, get you some of the answers. If you're new to the program, I think all the past quizzes that we've had the last couple weeks are elsewhere on the site. And if you're one of my our kids from Rainbows for Kids, Turn this off because we're going to oh. use these quizzes. We've been getting together with the kids and their families and having a great time playing bingo. And we're going to do some uh, kids trivia quizzes this week. So I'm going to steal this Disney okay, qu- very good. trivia for them. So anyway, number one. In the Disney movie Frozen, what was the name of the snowman? The name of the snowman in the movie Frozen. In the movie Sleeping Beauty, this is question two. In the movie Sleeping Beauty... What was to be passed down to Aurora, the princess, on her 17th birthday? It's a tradition in the kingdom. In the movie Sleeping Beauty, what was to be passed down to Aurora, who was the princess, on her 17th birthday? And the hint is it's a, it was a tradition in the kingdom. Okay, and kind of going along with that, also in Sleeping Beauty, what does Aurora have to do to receive the gift that she gets for her 17th birthday? What does she have to do to get that gift? Okay. Question four, in the movie Aladdin, what is the monkey's name? What is the monkey's name in Aladdin? Number five, this question has two answers. In the movie Peter Pan, the two brothers, John and Michael, were playing in the nursery. Who was John pretending to be and who was Michael pretending to be in Peter Pan? Mm -hmm. Question six, in the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, can you name all seven dwarfs? What were the names of all seven dwarfs in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? We should what? have made that question seven. You know, we could just go with the seven. That would, that would have been a good idea. But question seven is about Tarzan, the Disney Tarzan. In Tarzan, what was the gorilla's name? The gorilla's name in the Disney Tarzan. Okay. Question eight, Winnie the Pooh, one of our grandson's uh, favorite shows. Who was Pooh Bear's friend? that always lost his tail. In the movie Winnie the Pooh, who was Pooh Bear's friend that always lost his tail? And a bonus question for that is, what was that person's character's (laughs) favorite saying about his tail? So if you can come up with the name of the character that always lost his tail, that particular character also had a favorite saying about his tail. You almost gave it away. Yeah, I was better than that. (laughs) Number nine. I caught it. Also in Winnie the Pooh, who was Pooh's friend that always was bouncing on his tail? Because he was always so happy he was bouncing on his tail. Mm -hmm. Question 10, we switch over to Dumbo. In Dumbo the movie, what helped Dumbo fly? What helped Dumbo fly? Question 10. Number 11, in the movie Cars, what was the tow truck's name? The tow truck's name in the Disney movie Cars. Mm -hmm. Question 12, the movie Toy Story, who was the owner of the toys? 
What was the uh, character's name that owned the toys in Toy Story? Number 13, the easiest question of all questions we've had. In Donald Duck, what are his three nephews' names? What are Donald Duck's three nephews' names? Question 14, we're switching over to The Little Mermaid. What was Ariel's father's name in The Little Mermaid? What was Ariel's father's name in The Little Mermaid? That was not as easy. No. There's a bonus question, that one. No, we took that up. Okay. <laughs> 15. In The Fox and the Hound, who was the fox's friend? The hound, the name of the hound. The, the fox and the hound, who was the hound, his friend the hound, what was his name? Question 16, Mary Poppins, older one. What was the name of the song that she sang with the long name? One word title to a song, it's the longest word in the English language. Not Probably not. It's not a real word. It, okay, it's the longest word in the, in in the movie. movie, Mary Poppins. I still think it's that. the longest word in I'm the English sure. language. There can't not be a word longer okay, than Okay, well, we'll see. All right, we'll wait till the um, answer's on that. What was the first Disney animated movie? And here's supposed to be a hint. It was released in 1937 to 38. It started in 37 and it had the national release in 38. 34 but... letters, character letters in the name of that song of Mary Poppins. Okay. 34 letters. Okay, well, let's just... You can't tell me another word How long is anti-disestablishment 30... It's not 34 <laughs> letters. I guarantee you that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just You're on 18. Through. Yeah, okay. 18 is who was the... What was the relationship in the movie The Lion King? What was the relationship between Simba and the bad, uh, the the bad? Who was person? the bad guy? The bad guy in what Lion King. What was his name? The bad guy in The Lion King. And what was his relationship to Simba? Very good. Okay. Number nineteen. Who was the famous singer who wrote most of the songs from The Lion King? There was, he had a person that wrote with him and mm -hmm. another person in charge of the whole thing. But who was the famous singer who wrote most of the songs from The Lion King? Okay, and then question 20, the last question for today's trivia question. Speaking of famous singers in Disney movies, in the mo it, what was the name of the singer who wrote Go the Distance in the movie Hercules? In the movie Hercules, what famous singer wrote the song Go the Distance? And for all those people out who, who personally know me, you will know why we added that as the last question. Okay. Now to the answers for these today's questions. In question one, the Disney movie Frozen, the name of the snowman was Olaf. Question two, Sleeping Beauty, the uh, what was the name passed down to Aurora on her 17th birthday? It was a crown, which is to be worn until she becomes queen. All right, the next one about what did she have to do to receive that gift? She had to answer three riddles. So Liz Crum was nice enough to give us the riddles, so let's just remi remind everybody so you... You'll remember when you were watching it. The first riddle was, To the eye it's a treat, to the nose a delight. Be aware, to the hand it can be quite a fright. Though few think to taste it, its sweetness still shows. What is the answer? A rose. It is the rose. Mm -hmm. The second riddle, Some plant it, some steal it, some blow it away. Some do it several times a day. Some who are shy might blush getting this on the other hand hand or their cheek it's a kiss a kiss and the third riddle what only gets stronger the longer it lives what pays you back tenfold the more that you give some say it's blind some say true just some say simply i feel this for you love love okay. very good now, question four in the movie aladdin what is the monkey's name it's abu 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 All right, uh, the um, Peter Pan question. John was being Captain Hook and Michael was being Peter Pan. Question six, the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We asked you to name all seven dwarfs. That would be Sleepy, Sneezy, Doc, Dopey, Bashful, Grumpy, Happy. Sleepy, Sneezy, Doc, Dopey, Bashful, Grumpy, Happy. Okay. And everybody out there has been each one of the dwarfs during this <laughs> yeah. this COVID-19 being yes. inside. <laughs> I know I have. All right, number seven is in Tarzan. What was the gorilla's name? What was the gorilla's name in the Disney Tarzan? Turk. All right. Winnie the Pooh. It was the Pooh Bear's friend that always lost his tail. It was Eeyore the donkey. And the bonus question, Eeyore's favorite saying about his tail was, 
It's not, not much of a tail, tail but, but sort of attached, attached to it. To it. <laughs> and the Winnie the Pooh, uh, Pooh's friend that was always bouncing on his tail, and he's always so happy. Tigger. Dumbo the movie, who would help Dumbo fly his ears. That was question 10. In the movie Cars, what was the tow truck's name? Mater Mater. Hope that's the way you pronounce it, because I haven't seen the movie, but I do. Someone gave me a car because there was a car. There's a car named Sally. Okay. So I do know the movie, but I haven't seen it. Toy Story. The toy's owner's name was Andy. I don't think they ever gave a last name. Just, I'm not sure. Just Andy. Nope. Yeah. And okay, Donald Duck's uh, three nephews: Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Question 14. The Little Mermaid. Ariel's father's name was King Triton. All right. 15. The Fox and the Hound. The Hound's name was Copper the Dog. Copper the Dog. Mm -hmm. And the 34-letter word that I think is the longest word in the English language. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay. 17. It's a better word than anti-establishmentarianism anyway. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Well, there was something it's a in the word. 60s. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yes, it's a, a happy word. word. Yes. All right. Seven. If you do know a longer word, though, make sure you... Uh, yeah, Call him out on Twitter for it. Okay. The first animated movie from Disney came out in, first in 1937, released nationwide in 1938 with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The bad guy in The Lion King was Scar, and he was Simba's uncle. Mm -hmm. And Mustafa's his brother. Correct. Okay. Question 19. The uh, singer of most of the songs, writer of most of the songs in The Lion King was Elton John. And, and I threw I'll in the Go 20. the Distance in the Disney movie Hercules because my favorite singer, Michael Bolton, wrote the song and yep. sang it. So that's today's uh, program here on Weathering the Storm of Life with the Rangers. We'll be back with another edition tomorrow here on STL Sports Page and also putting it up on rainbowsforkids.org.